नमस्कार ओम स्वस्ति अस्तु थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर चेयरमैन दिस थिंग इज मिस्टर चेयरमैन स्पीकर्स ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन्स आई कम फ्रॉम बाली बाली इज वन स्मॉल आइलैंड ऑफ इंडोनेशिया वी हैव अराउंड फोर मिलियन हिंदू हिंदू पीपल इन बाली अमोंग टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मुस्लिम इन होल इंडोनेशिया सो वी हा माइनोरिटी देर एंड वी हैव मैनी मैनी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एडुकेशन बिकॉज द एडुकेशन पॉलिसी इज वेरी वेरी सेंट्रलिस्टिक ऑल फ्रॉम जकार्ता लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन्स माइ प्रेजेंटेशन इन टाइटल Enhancing quality and collaboration among universities managed by Hindus. It is very, very hard task for me. Next slide, please. Next, yes. Uh, education is very important for society, including Hindu society. Next. As Isha Upanishad said, that uh, with the aid of Vidya, we obtain the nectar of immortality. Ethics. And Rishi Krishna, Rishi Krishna Devayana Vyasa said that Savidya ya viknutaye. That learning is true learning, which can liberate a learner. Next slide, please. Hindu view on modern sciences, aparavidya, is not that it's wrong, but that it only offers a limited view of reality. Until science is able to open itself to the exploration of meta metaphysical reality, it will remain incapable of understanding the full nature of reality. Next slide, please. And uh, our problem in education, especially in Bali, I think, it consists of two problems. The first one is the quality problems, and the second one is quantity problems. I quote from Swami Arsanana. Next, please. Uh, okay. Uh, the drawback of our present-day educational system that our education system is a pale copy of the Western model. We have adopted the outward from the outward form and trails of an alliance model without comprehending its inner spirit and source of strength. So uh, there are problems in our education, including education in Bali. In quality problem, we are not rich the Hindu Dharma based education. What we mean with uh, Hindu Dharma based education? One of the definition may be maybe a balance between Paravidya and Aparavidya and an education based on Hindu characters. And the second one is the quantity problem. Illiterate in Hindu society is still high. Maybe especially in Bali, I think also in Bharat. And Hindu higher education are not developed, especially outside Bharat. Next. Hindu higher education in Bali, maybe uh, I will present to you. We have two kinds of universities or higher institution. First one is Hindu Dharma universities that is specialist uh study for hindu hindu dharma we have two universities in bali one uh, state university and one private university specialist for hindu dharma and the second one is the universities managed by hindu we have two state owned universities in bali one is udayana university my university uh, university, uh the biggest university in bali with uh, 25000 uh, student body and managed majority by Hindus. But the policy is still controlled by the central governments. And 
we have we have many many private uh, universities in Bali. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, in enhancing the yes, in enhancing quality of universities, maybe our strategies are first strengthen the structure, curriculum, and education program. We have discussed this in previous uh, session, I think. And the second one is strengthen the human resources, lecturer and professor. And the third one is to develop a good international networking among Hindu universities. And the fourth is to solve the funding problems. Why we have to enhance collaboration between uh, among Hindu universities? Because there are discrepancies especially of the quality between Hindu universities, especially in Bharat with uh, good universities, and outside Bharat with uh, very, very weak universities. So I think that collaboration and networking are very, very important. Next, yes. We, th we think that many possibilities can be developed. One of these is sister universities. A formal collaboration of well-established university, maybe in Bharat, with Hindu university outside Bharat, that can support its young sister to develop as a good Hindu university. Second one is lecture exchange to strengthen the quality of human resources in Hindu universities. Next slide, please. And then maybe student exchange, UN research, and scholarship. This is very important. Scholarship is very important for students in uh, outside Barat because without this scholarship, it is very hard to majority of people to go to the higher education. So to push this majority of people, we have a scholarship. We have to have a scholarship system and the student, maybe many of them, will become a lecturer and leader in Hindu society. Next. Yeah. And then uh, establishment of association of Hindu universities and universities managed by Hindu internationally, I think. Because it is very, very necessary for uh, Hindu outside Bharats. Because with this association, we can develop many, many programs to support young Hindu universities outside Paris. Next. And then establishment of association of Hindu lecturers and professors. The committee said as a World Hindu Academician Association. I think it's very, very important to exchange the experience, expertise of the very, very strong uh, academician, very eminent academician with the young academician in outside Bharat. I think it's very, very important. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the funding problem. I think the funding system in Hindu University, especially outside Bharat, are very, very weak. Possibilities for funding to improve our quality of Hindu universities, maybe we, maybe we have many, many uh, ways, but I think first one is enhancing the financial system from Hindu society. But it is very hard, it is very difficult in Bali because majority of uh, our Hindu society and Hindu people in Bali are in low grade economy. So they can support our system. And then maybe support from strong Hindu organization. We have many, many big Hindu organizations, especially in Bharat, that maybe this strong organization can support education, Hindu education, to improve the quality of Hindu society and Hindu philanthropists. We have many strong industrialists. We have many big bankers, especially in, in Bharat that uh, maybe they can give support to the for funding system in our Hindu universities. Ladies and gentlemen, that 
to strengthen the Hindu Dharma society from challenges and threats, especially outside Bharat, education is very, very important. Because we in Bali, Indonesia, have a very, very strong threat from the uh, condition in Indonesia. Fundamentalist is very, very strong developed in, in Indonesian society. It's not good for our Hindu society in Indonesia. So the collaboration between higher education in Bharat and outside Bharat are very, very important. So we hope, next slide, yeah. So we hope that the collaboration between Hindu universities discussion will get more attention in the next World Hindu Congress, maybe in United States in, or in 2018. I hope that this uh, have a big uh, reaction, uh, big, big, big support from our Hindu society in all, all, all whole, the, the whole world. So thank, thank you very much. Om Santi Santi Santi.